Hi everyone. Today we are moving with the next unit called Funny Ha Ha, Laughter is Contagious. Warm up. Questions for you to think and try to answer. What are the things you find funny? Videos, books, situations, people. Where can you find humor? In everyday situations? With your friends, at school, at work, for example. If you want to cheer yourself up a bit, what do you do? Mm -hmm. If you don't feel optimistic enough or you're down, how do you cheer yourself up? Let's take a look at some funny situations and people. Bad language humor. Wrong translation can be funny as well. People are funny, right? Mm -hmm. People are really funny. Maybe some of you have experienced a similar situation, students' uh, library. Okay, let's read the text, Laughter is Contagious, and answer the questions on page, exercise one in your textbooks. Laughter is Contagious. One day, a college professor greeted his new college class. He stood up in front of the class and said that if anyone in the class was a moron, and if they were, they should stand. After a minute, a young man stood up. Then the professor asked the kid if he actually thought he was a moron. The kid replied, No, I just didn't want to see you standing there all by yourself. Best-selling humorist Larry Wilde, director of the Carmel Institute of Humor, founded National Humor Month in 1976. The idea behind National Humor Month is to heighten public awareness of the power of laughter. Laughter has many therapeutic effects that can improve the quality of life and currently is being explored by health and medical professionals. Some of its therapeutic effects are lower blood pressure, promotes relaxation, reduces stress and increases oxygen levels in the blood, which gives people more energy. It also increases the endorphins in the body, resulting in an overall sense of well-being. It's like jogging on the inside. It improves lung capacity, massages internal organs, increases memory and alertness, reduces pain, improves digestion, and lowers the stress hormones, cortisol and adrenaline. It's good for the muscles involved in laughter, your chest and abdomen, and it exercises those muscles not involved. Have you ever just heard someone laugh and could not help yourself from joining in? That is because laughter is contagious. Surely, people notice the laugh tracks that play during some of their favourite sitcoms, but what people probably do not know is that producers do this because they are aware of the contagious effects of laughter. Statistics show that people are 30 times more likely to laugh in the presence of others than just by themselves. 
There are many things that a person can do in order to laugh. Be open-minded and, un- and look out for humour because it exists almost anywhere. Laughter is all around us from a funny TV show or movie or just sitting back and reminiscing about past events with friends. Keep a positive outlook on life and always try to have a smile on your face. Even a smile helps you to exercise your facial muscles and reduce frown lines and wrinkles. Just like laughter, a smile can often be contagious. Besides physical benefits, laughter also has psychological gains. It teaches us to be out of control, brings us into the moment, helps us transcend our problems brings us closer to people and helps us think more clearly. One of the biggest reasons grown-ups don't laugh more is fear of looking foolish. It's a primary fear. We are more afraid of looking foolish in public than of a nuclear attack which came in second. What's wrong with this picture? One one reason we don't laugh more often is because we've been conditioned not to. What did you hear as a child? Wipe that smile off your face. This is no laughing matter. Is everything funny to you? During this National Human Month, don't be afraid to be funny. Spread the joy of laughter and we will all feel a little better. Okay, I've provided you with some reading for this unit. Hopefully it was okay, not too fast, not too slow. And let's um, check some vocabulary here from the text and I'll get back again to the text and do some further analysis for the words which uh, are given in red. Okay, words connected with laughing. Okay, pronunciation of the word laugh is extremely important, okay? It's not laug or something else. It is laugh, okay? Verb, to laugh is a verb, means to show or feel amusement by making unarticulated sounds, okay? So, laugh, to laugh, is not the same as to smile, right? When you smile, there's nothing heard. You can only see someone's face smiling, but with the laugh and laughing, you can hear also. It's voiced. You can hear when somebody's laughing. Okay. Noun is laughter. Okay. Laughter. And we have a phrase laugh at somebody. For example, something laugh at somebody or something. Nouns from the text relating to body. Mm -hmm. Lungs. Respiratory organs, okay, here's the photo, lungs. Mm -hmm. Lungs have been in the focus for the past two weeks due to severe coronavirus um, um, issue going on everywhere in the world, okay. Next noun is chest. Chest is the thorax, part of the body between the neck and the abdomen, okay, this is the chest. Okay, and we also had a second meaning of the word chest. It's like um, a cupboard with drawers, usually seen. Uh, Also can be a sort of a suitcase. Muscle. Muscle, a tissue composed of fibers capable of contracting. These are muscles. Okay, muscles. So somebody's muscular, has a lot of muscles. Wrinkle. Line on the skin as from age. This is a wrinkle. Okay. Old people have many wrinkles. Verbs relating to body. Uh, Massage. Massage. Okay. A nice verb. Not to be confused with message as a noun. Message. Massage. A French origin means give a massage to a person. Okay, to massage somebody. Frown, verb, to express disapproval by wrinkling the brows. Frown, when you frown, 
you make a facial expression then that you're not satisfied with something you disagree so your eyebrows go down a little bit relax make or become less tense or anxious okay i suppose you're familiar with this one release let go or set free release some of the adjectives relating to body okay strenuous strenuous energetic zealous okay contagious from the text infectious transmittable many, many infectious diseases nowadays transmittable contagious therapeutic having healing powers okay serving as a medicine for example facial concerning the face okay this is an adjective facial you can have a facial shower facial um, treatment something like that thank you this is the first section we'll get back again to some more detailed explanations <laughs>